Hey plant fam! Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Jacqueline. This is kind of part of my jungle behind me. If you're not new here, thank you for coming back. I appreciate you. So today I have an obscene amount of Hoyas in front of me that need to be repotted and you guys told me that you wanted me to film repotting some of them with you so that is what we're gonna do I finally repotted like half of the last shelf in my Hoya cabinet they're all hanging out behind me right here and now we're gonna finish the rest of what was in there clean everything out and put it all back in and then I'm thinking maybe we'll do a little Hoya cabinet tour soon not in this video but stay tuned we'll do it um maybe right after this one if you guys want to see that so let me know in the comments below and we can do that I have a lot more Hoya scattered around the apartment and in the greenhouse so it wouldn't be like a full-on Hoya tour but it's like at least half of them if not more so yeah but first I got something new in the mail that I wanted to open up with you guys and I'm really excited about it I've been waiting to open it so that we can see it together for the first time so if you follow me over on Instagram you would have seen the last giveaway that I did and um, there was a repotting mat included in that giveaway. I have the same one here that was given away. It's my favorite. And I, I got another one. <laughs> so this is from Mats by Cat. I will leave her linked down below. You can follow her on Instagram to stay updated with everything that she's making and I'm pretty sure she sells them on Etsy but she'll also do them like in story sales and stuff like that which is where I got this one and I'm really excited because I love the first one so much and I've got plants that are just kind of like <laughs> living in it right now so I haven't been using it to repot and when I saw this one I knew I had to have it cute holographic monstera sticker in there and this little pin comes with it as well. It's a cat in a cactus. Super cute. If you guys are into that, she sells them separately as well. But look at how gorgeous this is. It looks just black probably. But it is black glitter. And it's so pretty. I'm loving this. Really good, sturdy quality. And this is what we're going to be using today so definitely go and check her out she is sort of local to me in massachusetts which is really nice and she's really sweet and makes good stuff so highly recommend checking it out i'm gonna get this snapped together and then i'm gonna show you what we're working with here i'll turn the camera down so you could see what I'm doing, but definitely like get a drink, get a snack, get your plants that need to be repotted because we have quite a bit to do. I don't know how much I'm gonna do with you guys before I kind of just like tap out, <laughs> but um, we're gonna do it. So this one is nice and long. The other one I have is more square, so I'm definitely not mad about it. Love it, okay. Let's do that. Oh, let's not knock over all the plants in the process. All right, let me figure out how to like lower you. Okay, I think you can see better now. <laughs> Hi, what I'm doing. So I have a lot of Hoyas. Ugh, this one's really not even labeled. I think it's just the Carnosa. I have so many, you guys, so many. I think this is Rosita. I'm not most not most taken, not mistaken. Uh, no, this is Rosita. Oh, this is Rebecca. Rebecca, Rosita. <laughs> I have a little baby serpents in here that I wanna check the roots on. I have this Imbricata 
cutting that's just been sitting here that I'm pretty sure is rooted. Yeah, but I just don't know how rooted. And um, I think that's a new growth point. That wasn't there before. It looks like a clam. <laughs> and then I have this variegated Bella that has kind of just been on the struggle bus ever since I got it. This is the outer variegated one. So I want to get in there and see what's going on. This is the Hoya Sangii. I don't know. I think this was another cutting from my friend Karen. Um, and then I have this Hoya Parasitica Black Margin that needs to be repotted because some of these leaves back here are dying off and I don't know why. So I just want to get in there and give it some new soil and hope that that helps make it happy because it is a really gorgeous Hoya. And then I have the only bit that's left of my Hoya Sigillatus. Um, I've had it rooted in perlite and it's the only surviving cutting. I'm very hesitant to put it into soil because it always dies when I do, but um, I want to see what the roots are looking like on that one. And then this is the Hoya, if I can get it out of here, uh, Diversifolia species, Crassipes, Crassip. I don't remember, honestly, something along those lines. I can leave it on the screen if I remember while I'm editing this. Um, it hasn't grown. It's done literally nothing. There's mealybugs on a lot of these, so they need to be like really properly rinsed off. So I'm probably going to be up and down a lot. And then I have this little baby Hoya Wilbergia, Wilbergia, um, which I'm pretty sure is the same as Verticillata, but this one looks a little bit different than my verticillata so I don't actually know and um, this one was also from Karen so we're gonna check out the roots on those this is a Hoya rotunda flora that just never looks happy the leaves always look wrinkled so I'm curious to get in there and see uh, what's going on uh, this one is just really gross and sad I'm pretty sure this is a Hoya affinis just this one sad leaf and then last but not least is this Hoya species India so we have <laughs> quite a bit to do here I'm gonna go over my soil mixture with you in case you're new here or in case you forgot I am using Espoma organic potting mix and since Hoya like a nice chunky soil, I am adding in this chunky perlite from Soul Soils. I will leave this linked down below for you guys. You can get 10% off all of their products with the code Jacqueline's Jungle. I'll leave that in the comments and it's always in the description box. If you're ever curious about any of my links or my codes, they are always going to be linked in the description box. Um, unless I mention it in the video, then I also put it in the comment section. So, um, love this chunky perlite. They also just have regular mix if you don't want to mix your own. I also put in this orchid bark from Better Grow. It's got the orchid bark, the perlite, and the charcoal in it. You can pick this up at Lowe's. They also have it at Amazon if you don't have um, a Lowe's or a nursery near you to snag it. And last but not least, I add in a little bit of worm castings just for some natural uh, fertilizer in there as well. So that is what we're working with. Okay, where are we going to start? I'm going to start with the ones in perlite because those are easy to take out. So let's start with this Hoya Sangi, Sangi eye and see... These teeny tiny little fragile roots so what I tend to do a lot of the time is I'll just like get rid of this perlite and I'll just pot it right back into here just with some potting soil so I'm gonna rinse this out and put a couple of drainage holes in it with some scissors and then that's what we're gonna use to repot it I'm just gonna set it aside for now while we check out these other ones yeah, those are looking good too. 
So we can do that. And if the perlite isn't green, I will like reuse it. But this perlite is looking kind of nasty. Let's see Rosita. Okay, she's got some nice roots too. So we can definitely pot her. And then I'm pretty sure this is just a Hoya Carnosa that comes from Karen's mom's plant, if I'm not mistaken. So um, you can call it an heirloom Carnosa for sure. Oh, this one's really nicely rooted. The good thing about rooting in perlite is it just comes right out. These ones that are in moss are going to take a little bit more work. I tend to mix the perlite and the moss together now just to like make my life a little bit easier because the moss stays more moist but the perlite allows for just like some aeration um, and then it's not as difficult to get the roots out of there plus I don't mind if there's some perlites, uh, perlites perlite on the roots of my plants when I repot them but I don't want moss to be on the roots because then it's going to attract moisture. So I'm going to take these four Hoya to the sink and give them a good rinse and rinse out these cups because then we're probably just going to pot them back into these cups. Um, maybe this one can go in something bigger since it does have more roots. But these ones with a smaller root system, um, I don't want to put them in anything too big or else they're literally just never going to grow for me. So Hoya like being a little bit more snug in their containers. They don't grow really extensive roots. So, okay. So I've got my four little Hoyas here. I'm just going to mix some soil. I just kind of mix as I go. I'm not one of those people that keeps it like all mixed up all the time. That would just be far too convenient. <laughs> Plus I kind of customize the mix for each plant so I don't mind mixing up a new batch. We're probably going to use quite a bit today which is fine because I am fully stocked and ready to repot like everything. These are small plants today but I still have so many big plants that need to be repotted. Put a nice handful of this chunky perlite. Absolutely love this stuff. It is so hard to find good coarse perlite. This takes chunky perlite to a whole new level. It's huge. You can always make it a little bit smaller too. The really big chunks I tend to break apart a little bit. And those, ugh. A nice handful of this orchid bark. I'll have all of this stuff linked down below for you guys if you want to mix your soil the same way that I mix mine. You can buy all of this stuff online. Most of it's on Amazon, um, except for the soul soils. Um, and you can use anything. You don't have to use the chunky perlite. You can use pumice. You can use leca balls. Whatever you want just to make the soil more chunky. I do recommend the orchid bark um, and the charcoal. The charcoal in the soil helps keep things a little bit clean. So, old perlite out of here. Mix it all up. So we have a really nice chunky mix going on here and you guys know the drill let me know in the comments below what you're repotting today if you're or if you're doing some plant chores along with me I know repotting can be a lot of work especially when you're like me and you put it off and then you have to do everything all at once <laughs> but I'm glad we're finally getting to this it is long overdue these Hoya definitely need some love 
So here's Rosita. Hopefully they're gonna be a lot happier um, and I will neglect them a little bit less, which will be helpful <laughs> and maybe they'll actually start growing because a lot of my Hoyas have just kind of been really stagnant. Um, so there's that. Here's the little bird GA. I'm just leaving them in their same containers that Karen had them in because they're already labeled. Um, except for this one, I'm gonna up top that one. And then we've got the Sangii. Super cute little tiny leaves on this one. Like, so tiny. I don't know about you guys, but I do love a tiny leaf Hoya. I love a big leaf Hoya. I love a tiny leaf Hoya. I love a plain leaf Hoya. I love a veiny Hoya. I just, I love all, I love all of the Hoya. I know I haven't really been uh, making as much Hoya content, but definitely uh, stay tuned because there's going to be a lot. I have a lot, a lot of Hoya chores to do. I just uploaded some onto the website too that I have sitting right here I need to water um, if you guys are looking this one is one of my favorites the Hoya Crassa Petiolata Splash it's got a little bit of sun stress on it those are those purple spots but if you pull it further away from the light that won't happen this is the Hoya Bang Nang Nooch I'm pretty sure that's like somewhere in Indonesia it's a really simple, splashy Hoya. This one is a little bit sun stressed as well. So the new growth will come in darker green. And if you pull it further away from the light, it should get splashier. And then one of my favorites, this is the Hoya David's Green Cup. This is a cross between Obovada and Carnosa. So it gets this really circular leaf that is a little bit thicker than an obovada and i actually prefer it over the obovada because it is much rounder and it stays rounder the leaves so really really cool plant i'm pretty sure that's a cocoa ranch hybrid as well and then i have this little hoya hainanensis which is similar to the crassipetiolata but it is different it's a different plant um, the leaf shape is a little bit different the coloring is a little bit different I have both, they grow slightly different. So um, yeah, really cute one. Those are all up in my shop now if you guys wanna go check them out. So those are some of the other ones that I repotted recently that I, I cut everything back after I repotted it. So, oh my gosh, this one is so cute. Okay, this Carnosa, since it does have quite a bit of roots and this cup is broken. I'm actually going to pot up in one of these since it does have enough root to go in there. I'm not worried about it. I love using the clear containers. I can leave these linked down below for you guys as well so that I could see the roots. I can see what's going on. It's also convenient when you're watering. You can see if the soil has been fully saturated or not and you can look at it and see if the soil is still saturated or not before you water so I definitely recommend especially for beginners if you're nervous I use it on like all of my more pricey aeroids and stuff so that I can monitor the health of the roots and the development of the roots it's really satisfying to watch them grow so cute little baby carnosa I have all these pots that I have to clean out too. Okay, let's take this little sigillatus out of here and see what we're working with. A whole lot of nothing, to be honest. That's, it doesn't even need to be in this big cup. Maybe that's why it's not growing. Um, let me put it in this broken cup <laughs> from the other one, that's fine doesn't need to be fancy, doesn't need to be perfect, just needs to be functional. So 
and hopefully it doesn't die in here because every time I put this plant in soil, this is on my like no buy list, like Hoyas I will not be buying again because um, it is really annoying. I've had multiples of this plant and this is all I have left of it. <laughs> like it's not, it has not been easy or fun for me this one. So, which is a bummer because it's really pretty. So that is the Hoya Sigillatus. Like, look at the variegation on there. It's absolutely gorgeous. And when it gets sun stressed, the leaves turn kind of maroon. So it's really pretty. It's just a really big pain in the butt. So not my favorite Hoya to have in my collection just because it's really frustrating. So I got the soil nice and moist on this Imbricata this Hoya Bella, this Serpens, and this Rebecca. So I'm gonna try and get the moss off of the roots here without making a complete and total mess. But that might be pretty difficult. See, it's hard to distinguish what is root and what is moss, so you have to be really careful and not tug on the moss too hard to get it off or else you're just going to pull the roots as well. So running it under the water while you're doing this helps. Soaking it beforehand definitely helps. Don't try to do this with dry moss because you're just going to have a really terrible time. <laughs> like I promise you that. So we don't really do just moss anymore for this reason, but I like using the moss because it gives you really nice roots that transfer into soil a lot better than other mediums. So I've gotten like majority of it off here but I am still going to take it to the sink and rinse it off. I just want to kind of get get them out and check out the roots. This Serpens probably has like none. It's been in here for so Oh no, it does have some good roots. It's been in here for so long and it hasn't done anything. <laughs> This was like my original and then I got a bigger one. This one's also kind of a pain in the butt and I wouldn't recommend it for beginners. Oh, it's got a new little growth point. <laughs> Cute. Yeah, this one barely has any roots. <laughs> Nothing. Nada, but it does have this new little growth point here. Isn't it cute? So I'm actually probably going to move this to something even smaller than what it was in. One of these little plasticky guys kind of looks like a shot glass um i think it'll be happy if i just put it in some soil maybe something chunky and stick it in there just to give it some soil roots give it something to actually like root into they are a little bit on the thirstier side so that's something to keep in mind um this imbricata has some roots I don't even know what this mix is. It's like dirt and moss and perlite. I don't exactly know. What is, there's Lekka in here. There's cocoa in here. <laughs> I don't know what this is. But it's got some nice roots at least. So I feel okay about putting it into like a little plasticky into a little plastic cup. Just gotta snag some. I mean, they're the same size as this, but that one's all dirty. Okay, so that one's good. And then let's check. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, Bella has got tons of roots. I think I'm just gonna stick this one into like a mossy perlite mix and try and get it rooted because it was in this like soil moss thing. I don't really know what that is. Okay, I'm gonna rinse these off now really quickly and then I'll be back. So I rinsed off all the plants. I also rinsed off their species 
India and this really sad Athenis that I'm probably just going to cut and re-root. So we have two here that we're going to put back into moss, which I don't actually have on me right now. So we're just going to set those aside and do that after. Um, I did pick up some of these little plastic cups to put these other little babies in. So let me get my Sharpie so I can label everything. We're going to do the Species India. I've been going through and making sure that all my Hoyas are labeled so that I, as they grow and as I repot them, that I don't forget what is what. Because you guys ask me all the time, how do you know what's what? And like, honestly, I don't know. And I'm afraid that I'm going to forget. So I have to start labeling them. Because I have so many. There's so many. I don't even want to count how many Hoya I have. It's kind of ridiculous at this point. Which is why I haven't really been buying more. In case you haven't noticed, I've been buying more. Um, Philodendron and Monstera lately since they do grow a little bit faster and easier. Okay, cute little species India all set here. Next, we're gonna do the Hoya Rebecca. So this one will sun stress like the sunrise. It's kind of like the smaller leaf version of it. I don't know if that's how you spell it, that's fine. Um, it's a really cute one. And then I'm going to water everything and put it all back. I'll give you guys a little peek at what it looked like before and after doing this. And then, like I said, if you want to go back in and do like a full tour of everything that's in there, I am more than happy to do that for you. Okay, so Hoya Rebecca, just got a little dirty with the foci. And then we've got this weird imbricata that I'm, I'm going to put in here and hopefully it does okay. Don't really need to label this one because it's really unique, but we'll do it anyway. Try to write it so small. Definitely recommend having some small little plastic cups and stuff around if you're going to be working with Hoya. Like I said, they don't like being in a large container. This one is a shingling Hoya, so it won't taco like this if you give it something to attach to. But I kind of like the taco. It's weird, and if you like open it up a little bit you can see like all the aerial roots inside weird so weird it's like a little alien plant but hopefully we don't kill it now that we've repotted it because that would just be really sad it's a really cute one um and it's definitely weird this is my little taco yay taco okay so there's that one, and then I just have this little baby serpents that we're going to put in here. Make sure it's nice and chunky. This is definitely a more delicate one. But I think it should be happy in here. We shall see. Okay. 
Um, we only have a few more. We have this little rotunda flora that has like absolutely no roots on it. We need to rinse that one off. And we have this little diversifolia. I can't, don't know why I keep putting it in here because I can't get it back out. And we definitely need to give this one some new soil. It's got some pretty decent roots. But it's literally never done anything for me. So, like, I'm tempted to cut the top off and then maybe it'll start growing from this little nub down here. But it has a couple of mealybugs on it, so we gotta rinse those off. And then the last one is this parasitica which definitely needs some new soil this soil looks like it's seen better days and these leaves are just really sad so we're gonna get rid of them And we're going to repot it back into one of the clear containers. So last round of rinsing these last three Hoya off. And then we're going to get them all nice and cozy in their pot. So this little rotunda flora, I think I'm actually going to put in water and see if I can get it to root up in water. Because it just does not look happy at all. So I'm just going to shove it over there where I have some other water pops. Um, but yeah, the rest of these are looking fine. So we just have these two left to pot up, which is good because we don't have a ton of soil. Looks like I mixed just about the right amount. I'll probably need a tiny bit more. So I think I'm gonna put this trellis back in here where it was and get this going back on it because it was cute. All right, so that is the Hoya Parasitica Black Margin. It used to be much bigger, but it's kind of downsized itself. <laughs> so there's that one, and this one is last. And not least, of course, and it's really cute, so hopefully we can get it to finally grow for us. And that's it. I'm going to get all of these um, watered. Let me just label this one. It's a long one. Diversifolia species crassipes. Okay, we got it. <laughs> So I'm going to rinse all these off and get things cleaned up in the cabinet and then I will show you the final product.
Okay fam, so this is what we're looking like on the bottom shelf finally. I need to like wipe down the rest of these but everything is finally all potted up in the cabinet it only took me like months but I'm glad that we finally got it done so yeah that is it for this video if you guys enjoyed hanging out with me you should give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything from me oh this leaf fell off <laughs> so sad um there's a join button down there if you want to be part of the official plant fam get yourself some perky perks if not there's a super thanks button if you want to super thanks me everything is appreciated i cannot do this without you i appreciate you guys so so very much stay tuned if you want to see a full tour of all of these and i will tell you all of their names <laughs> so you can add them to your wish list and um yeah, that's it for this video. I appreciate you guys. I love you so, so very much. And I hope I see you in the next one. Bye.